Hello, this is Batcave Comics 83. I'm doing this video about baseball cards and it's a response to um, Mr. Rigor Mortis 86, um, who you may know from comic book videos, but he did a video recently showing his uh, some of his baseball cards. So I, I've actually only recently started collecting baseball cards. I uh, actually only recently started watching baseball. I, uh, started the first game I actually managed to watch live on TV it was only in early early August so I've only been watching for about three weeks but in that three weeks I've gone a bit like baseball card collecting mad so I, I've collected quite a few so I'm, I'm going to show you what I've collected in less than a month basically um, I'm going to probably slow it down a bit now but then later in the year I'll continue so um I have to say, I've only actually managed, because I'm in the UK and the time difference, I've only actually managed to watch four games so far. And um, the first one I watched was the um, Orioles versus the Guardians. And, um, and although I think the, I'm pretty sure the Orioles won, if I remember correctly. And, uh, but my, my actual favourite player from that, that, that match was actually um, this guy in this card yes it's in focus that's a good thing yeah this guy um Stephen Kwan so he was for the uh, Cleveland Guardians so this is actually the first card I picked up and I'll just show you the other side because uh, I'll I just show you what I basically write on each card so I have this method I, I just put a little sticker on it and I say who it is whether it's a rookie card what year it is the, the, the card manufacturer, so this is Topps, uh, Topps, Bowman, Chrome, and what the baseball card number is, and the price they paid for it. So, like I said, four pounds and 35 pence, including postage and packaging. Um, and then also the DOP date of purchase, so that's like the 4th of August. So that's the format. But I'll keep going because I've got quite a few to show you. Um, so they're not in any particular order. So I got this. This is a. Yeah, it's in focus. Yes. So that's Matt Matt Olson of the uh, Oakland Athletics. This is a few years, a few years old. This card, and it's one of these game used um, material uh, cards. So yeah, that was quite interesting. That's that's number forty nine of fifty. So it's a set of fifty. Sorry, a run of 50. Uh, I like that. I've always kind of liked this team, even before I actually started watching. Um, yeah. One of my other favourite players um, is Austin Wells of uh, the New York Yankees. I quite like, you know. I always... I, I show you what I do. I When I watch a game, I actually probably can't fit in the actual screen but, but you can see the words Yankees dominated in this particular match and then I wrote uh, what the players I was interested in so I use this as the basis for then going off and collecting having said that I bought a lot of random cards from, from players I, I've never even seen play before um, so like well yeah there's another um, Stephen Kwan so I'm uh, collecting his stuff. I'll, I'll go a bit faster though. <laughs> uh, I got this uh, Starling Marty signed. Um, no, it's called uh, the, 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 the Tops brand is called Clearly Authentic. So it's got this blue autograph. And this is number 10 of 50. That's a nice one. It's like see-through, basically. Uh, Jazz Chish Chishholm Junior. This this is it. He's actually in this. This is a card for um, the Mi Miami Marlins, but he's actually with the New York Yankees in the time that I've been watching it. <laughs> um, who else? Dun, dun, dun. So there's um, Freddy Valdez, who's like who was in the pipeline for the Mets. Um, I haven't actually seen a game with him. I think he's 
I'm not even sure he's even in the MLB at the moment, but he, I know he's in, this is a few years old and he was in the pipeline. And this is a little signed card. So this was quite an interesting one to get. Whether his career goes ahead, I don't know. Um, then Brian Wu, the Mariners. Uh, I'll keep going. Uh, who is that? Oh, yeah. Ty Tyler Soderstrom, the Oakland Athletics. Um, there's Aaron Judge. I quite like this card because I, I obviously I, I might um, I do like the Yankees, and I know Aaron Judge is doing pretty well at the moment. I actually started collecting his stuff before, like he kind of went because he's, he's gone quite stratospheric in the last few weeks, and so I kind of inadvertently made a good decision in collecting at that that point. Um. So, just a bit of variation. So we've got this, uh, it's a mod, obviously a modern card, but it's got this little Babe Ruth um, just sitting on a bench <laughs> with, with, with his teammates. It's quite a nice card. It's called um, Spring Has Sprung, and it's another, obviously, tops. Um, just making sure I'm not missing anything. So I'm probably going to skip a few things, but another... Austin Wells one. I think that's my, I hope I'm not picking up the same one. I've got two Austin Wells ones. They're very similar though. They're basically the same shot, just one's in a different motion and it's cropped. So this is one of those chrome cards. I think the chrome cards, you know, some of them are really nice and some of them are a bit like, you know, fake looking. I think the way it's printed, it depends on the quality of the original photo. Um, so I've got Dustin, yeah, Dustin Harris of the Rangers. It's like a little signed one. He's a he's one of the it's a prospect card. Okay, um, right, I'm skipping it up now. That the, the I've got three more cards to show you, and then one more, which is an older card. Um, that, so the three cards I've got to show you. This one's kind of interesting. Juan Gonzalez, um, it's a um, one of 15, um, uh, like it's a shiny card, <laughs> I was gonna call it that way. It's a one of 15 and it's signed. So uh, it's interesting because it's actually got a printing error. Uh, hopefully the whole whole shot, well, it's, um, it's not actually all in frame, but I'll put it to one side. So it's a grade 10, um, Majesty Grading Company, which is a British uh, grading company. It's interesting because they gave it a grade 10, but it's got a printing error. Um, but obviously uh, it doesn't change the uh, aesthetic appeal. Um, so that was Juan Gonzalez. Uh, the next one, this is actually a PSA 10. Otani, uh, it's, 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 got, it's a 1965 Redux, Redo, Redux, or however they pronounce it, which is a retro version of, it's, it's a retro card, it's a, it's a modern card, but done in the 1965 style. And it's this is when he was with the Angels. So this is the 2021 Tops. Um, the other card I got was a... Uh, Aaron Judge, Aaron Judge, uh, one of fifty gold trim. Again, this is Magic, uh, not Magic, Majesty, Grading Company, Grade Ten. It, the, the card has actually moved slightly in the holder, but not very much, and it's not worth cracking it open. But I was quite happy to get this one because I'm a big fan of his, and um. And also I just feel this is quite a modern collectible card. So there you go. <laughs> okay, the final card is 
a retro, a, no, not a retro, an old card. It's 1957, Whitey Ford, New York Yankees. So um, hopefully that's in shot. Yep, that's still in shot. So yeah, that's the only uh, old card I have. Everything else is like the last five years and this is 1957. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't given up on comic books, by the way. I, this is just a baseball card video. Uh, I, I will produce some base, um, comic book videos in the future, but I haven't really bought any comic books. And th those I have, I'm trying to keep secret because I, I want to keep collecting. I don't really want to, <laughs> you know, advertise too much. Um, you know, strategically selfish. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I am going to continue collecting baseball cards. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And it, it, this is probably my first video I've done in ages. Anyway, so see ya.